It may have only been a passing comment but old Gunnar Solskjaer appears to have hinted Jadon Sancho will have to be patient if he wants to play regularly for Manchester United. It's been a difficult opening few months for the England international at Old Trafford with Sancho yet to find the net in his new colours following his £72 million switch from Borussia Dortmund earlier this summer. Sancho has been an unused substitute in both of United's past two Premier League matches against Liverpool and Tottenham, offering little indication that he is currently central to Solskjaer's plans as he fights to save his job. His hopes of increased playing time were dashed in North London when Solskjaer opted to switch to a 3-5-2 formation which fields no wingers. The United boss now effectively has nine players, Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Cristiano Ronaldo, Edinson Cavani, Mason Greenwood, Jesse Lingard, Anthony Marshall, Bruno Fernandes and Donny van der Beek, respectively, competing for the front three spots in his side, should he opt to persist with 3-5-2. It's a bitter pill for the likes of Sancho to swallow, although he was summoned from the bench as United went in search of a leveller at Atalanta on Tuesday night. And when quizzed on Van der Beek and Sancho's playing time, Solskjaer's response was simple, Jaden will come good. He has a great work rate and attitude, he was really sharp when he came on, the first header he cleared for us and he was sharp on the ball. So they'll all have a big role to play and hell have many, many years as a good player here. While there was little in the sentiment from Solskjaer, it clearly demonstrates his relaxed nature when it comes to Sancho's form and game time. To the player himself, it's now becoming a pressing issue. Sancho did not leave Borussia Dortmund to sit on the bench and he has a place in England's World Cup squad to earn. His confidence will have already been dealt a blow at international level in recent months. Sancho was a substitute for most of Euro 2020 before being subjected to racist abuse after missing his penalty in the final against Italy. Not only that but Gareth Southgate admitted he was lucky to be named in the last three Lions squad due to his lack of form. While it will ultimately be up to Sancho to prove he deserves to play on the training pitch, there is no hiding from the fact his current situation at United is one of concern. Not only is competition fierce out wide but Solskjaer is now set to continue using a system that cannot accommodate Sancho. He needs to play his way into form but at the moment, it does not look like he'll get the opportunity to do so. Some have questioned whether United was the right fit for Sancho despite their restless pursuit of the winger that lasted well over two years but the harsh reality is that things are currently looking bleak under Solskjaer. Sancho under Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp could prove to be a whole different proposition but as of now, United's decision to sign him is one likely to face scrutiny. There is no doubting his class, star potential and ability but Solskjaer's squad is already stacked with quality in attack, particularly out wide. It seems wasteful to have Sancho sat on the bench, with no apparent immediacy to get his firing, when United were crying out for a defensive midfielder this summer. Sancho will come good and that may only be a matter of time but he will want to kickstart his United career into life as soon as possible after walking away from something good at Dortmund, where he was cherished and adored.